morning friends welcome to jay the saris recipes today i would like to show it to you all one of the interesting recipe alu akbari kofta curry recipe this dish i had in usa long time back i really liked it i just remembered it i thought i'll make and show it to you all this dish will be very tasty and very very yummy hope you all going to like it let's begin the recipe now hi friends for today's recipe i am boiling half kg potatoes I'm going to do the four whistles and keep it ready. Just check how oh, my potatoes are cooked nicely. I'm going to take off the skin, mash, and keep it ready. Alu agbari. This is cashew nuts and raisins. Both of them I'm going to finely chop and keep it ready. This is for uh, kofta fillings. Chopping. like this very fine to kofta fillings you chop very fine like this for for kofta i am grating potatoes first to be like this fine to make into kofta ball for koftas i grated two potatoes and kept it ready Half teaspoon chili powder, half teaspoon garam masala, half teaspoon salt, pinch of baking powder. That is optional. If you like, you can use. Otherwise, it's okay. Uh, just uh, about uh, corn flour, just uh, two tablespoons for binding, and this is uh, cashews and uh, raisins to fill in inside the koftas. I cut it and kept it ready. Marinade dry spices. but two tablespoons corn starch for the binding mix everything nicely i'm adding little bit more salt is less i tasted it little bit more salt i'm adding another quarter teaspoon salt just see check and see enough if it is comes ball then you don't need add any more corn starch it looks okay to me you give it oil on your hands takes small amount of potato mixture roll like this just press it and put dry fruits this much and close just make round or like a little bit uh, flat like it is like this I'm going to show it to you all another one. Press again. Few dry fruits. Press like this again, like cutlet shape. Oil is hot. I kept oil is hot. You can even fry like this if you think it's going to break or something will happen. So I'm telling one tip. This is just a plain flour, lightly plain flour. Just to tap like this. so it will secure the koftas so you can even fry direct slowly like this also
move so quickly. Now turn other side. The oil is hot. Kofta is ready. Take it out. Show you all some more. Just frying directly. Drop them slowly. Fry them on medium flame. Took one side. It's ready golden brown. Just turn slowly other side. Fried both sides. Golden brown. This is the color I wanted. These are looks very nice. Put them in kitchen paper. I'm adding some more. Fried very well. Golden brown. Delicious koftas are ready. Switch up. Her aloo akbari gravy, I soaked cashew nuts, half cup, three cloves garlic, one onion, two pieces of ginger. These three of them I'm going to grind into paste and keep it ready. Aloo akbari, the paste is ready. For a curry, one or two tablespoon oil or ghee, one teaspoon chili powder, half teaspoon salt, half teaspoon garam masala. Half teaspoon turmeric powder, two teaspoon coriander powder, one teaspoon kasuri methi or dry ferring leaves. This is a kaju and onion garlic ginger paste. For the for kofta gravy curry, I put one tablespoon oil. Just putting one tablespoon ghee. Cumin seeds and pinch of hing. The cumin seeds are splitting, so I'm adding all the dry spices. Just mix and add onion, kaju, garlic ginger paste. Mix and cook for 2-3 minutes. Let all the spices cook well. Then I'm going to add half glass of water. The spices, kaju, onion, garlic cooked well. Now I'm adding water. Cook until it becomes thick. Add water according to your uh, consistency, your gravy type. I think I need a bit more. more. Once it cooks, it will become thick again. So I'm going to add another half cup of more water. So let it cook and it, the gravy has to become thick. And check the salt. Spices, chili powder, salt according to your own taste. Check and if you like more, you can add more. Spice seems to be less. So I am adding half teaspoon each chili powder and salt. Mix and cook. Friends, I forgot to mention you have to add 1 teaspoon honey or jaggery or sugar anything. So I am just adding some brown sugar, jaggery just 1 teaspoon. Just cook one more minute. 
and switch out the flame. Well, the sweetness makes the kofta gravy tastes, tastes better. It balances the flavor. I want this consistency is ready. So now I'm adding finally one teaspoon kasuri methi dry fenning leaves. Mix and cook another one more minute on a medium flame. My aloo akbari kofta curry gravy is ready now. Switch off the flame. I like this consistency. You can add koftas now itself or you can add when you are serving time. You can add koftas and pour on the gravy on top. Oh, you can add as it is now, add koftas. Switch off the flame. I'm making jeera rice. So I put it just a little bit teaspoon of oil. 1 teaspoon ghee, cumium sheets, just few biryani spices. Also, I'm adding just two green chilies. Just fry a little bit, few minutes. A tiny bit of salt, just a quarter teaspoon salt and some roasted coriander powder. I'm adding to rice. Mix uh, all the spices to rice. Then cover and cook. The rice cooker is on. Jira pulao rice is ready. Very nice. Very quick raita. I am going to show it to you all. This is one cup of yogurt, natural yogurt. I'm using masala bundi, one small onion finely chopped, one green chili finely chopped, roasted cumin powder, and a quarter teaspoon salt. Both are quarter teaspoon each. So I added yogurt. Onion, chilies, roasted cumin powder, salt. Mix well nicely. Add bundi, spicy bundi, masala bundi. Look, my masala bundi raita is ready. Just to garnish with a little chili powder or black pepper, anything. It's ready to serve. And you can serve your lunch or dinner like this. Jira pulao rice, chapati, bundi raita, alo akbari, kofta curry. Mm, it will be delicious. I'm going to enjoy my meal. Thank you, friends. Bye. Look, this delicious, tasty alu akbari kofta curry is ready. I'm garnishing with one green chili. Hope you all are going to like this recipe. If you all like, please like and share. Give me a comment. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.